were right, you must be frustrated to have been proved right. Yeah, a little bit annoyed at that and obviously made me my views and opinion very, very clear at half time. Um, having said that, I thought the way we responded from it was very good. Um, yeah, like I say, in the early parts, we just forgot to press the ball and I thought whilst we dealt with that, we had the best two chances in the first half uh, as well with Brennan and, and Remy. So we were disappointed that we weren't able to rectify the, the slow start we had. Um, but I thought the way we approached the second half, even before they went down to 10 men, I thought we were very, very good. I thought we took them to the sword a little bit and uh, some of the football was excellent. Because you know what people have been saying in the media, they were saying, well, Lincoln's in there, they're top, I think deserving to be top. Well, we'll see with a, a Peterborough side that many people fancy mm. to do well and you've more than matched and you've outplayed them in the second half. Yeah, we did, I thought we did. And um, yeah, we just missed that little bit of clinical edge, I suppose. But having said that, they had to work really hard as well to, to, to get the point in terms of the keeper made a couple of very, very key saves and they had a couple of really important blocks uh, that stopped them losing the game today. And obviously, you know, it was unfortunate for George to, to miss from the spot because, it, to be fair, it was the only thing he did wrong all day. I thought he was absolutely excellent. He was outstanding in the middle of the park. And what about the goal scorer today? You've had him for, for just over a year and I can see him. I think the bigger fans can see how much he's changed and developed over the years. He must be pretty pleased with him. Yeah, delighted. And I, he's obviously uh, chomping at the bit at the minute and um, he's in a good vein of form. Um, he can play either side, of the, either side, left and right. He can also play central for us, as we've seen <coughs> excuse me, on a couple of occasions. Um, so he'll be delighted, I'm delighted with him. Um, I'm just going to make sure that he keeps doing it, you know. I, I hate to see young players, when they do well, you know, take the plaudits too much and get comfortable. Uh, that's one, one thing I don't like seeing players get, he's comfortable and, um, you know, we'll be on to him all the time to try and make him even better. Maybe after 20 minutes, if I said a point in the take of it, I, I, I'm guessing you feel it's two points that you've missed out on in the end. Yeah, and the good thing is, so do the players, you know, the players are in there, they think they've lost the game, you know, and that's, that's how far we've come as a group. You know, we've, you know, like I say, put a proper good side to the sword, I thought, today for, for 60 minutes, you know, last 50 minutes of the first half and certainly all the second half and, uh, you know, they were hanging on and I know they went down to the 10 men, but even before that, you know, they were, they were really hanging on in the game to stay in the game and I think if we would have scored the penalty, we would have, you know, gone and made it three or four possibly, but, you know, we're going to have more disappointments this year. Um, the fact is, is like sometimes in those big games against teams that are in around you, if you can't win the game, it's so important not to lose it. And, uh, you know, that hopefully will be one of them situations today. You mentioned Jordan Rossi, Oops, sorry, you mentioned he missed the, you know, the, the penalty, but he had such a good game for you. He was outstanding, you know, he, his selection of pass, he's running off the ball, um, how competitive he was. Um, but obviously playing with slightly higher at the pitch at the minute because obviously we've got Brids in the team which helps us, you know, he gives us that base. Um, so he's enjoying that role, you know, and uh, listen, he's a good footballer, he's just, George is like anyone, you know, again, I use that word comfortable sometimes, he can get comfortable at times and that's something I refuse to let him let happen. And at the end, we had a little flavour last half an hour of your new signing, he's going to bring something just entirely different to the other players. Yeah, and I think you can see he's got the type of ability, he's got. He's almost got like a lopey feel to him and um, he's not fit yet, you know, I think I think he's missed a little bit of football over Christmas uh, with the, the youth set up at, 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 um, at City with Covid etc and obviously the fact that they don't train much over the Christmas period, so I think we'll get him fitter and he, he'll have even more of an impact, but I thought <coughs> he can be quite pleased with his, uh, you know, his opening salvo today. It's looking like you might get a, a 10 day break, obviously the Shrewsbury game mm. in doubt. That must be a frustration. You want to be playing as many games as possible, I'm sure. Yeah, we do. And um, all I would say as well is, you know, it's going to be key trying to make sure that we maintain the professionalism we've shown so far in trying to keep COVID out of the club. You know, obviously we've had a few cases, as you're aware. We want to try and limit that as best we possibly can. These tests are going to definitely going to help us. Um, Obviously, we've got a game Tuesday. Uh, I believe that's still going ahead, unless you tell me differently. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so obviously, you know, we've got the Papa John's Trophy game on Tuesday, um, and it's an opportunity for some of the players who've not had minutes to get minutes. And you know, some of the lads who play today might have to have another little run out. I know we're not allowed to ask, but is David okay? Obviously, he's not been with you today. I assume he's, he's okay. Isn't he? No, he is. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, himself and, and Richie as well. Um, uh, both are home isolating. I'm sure. The second half performance will, uh, you know, put a smile on both faces.